for a long time, even up to the 80s, um, some leukemia experts were saying it's not worth treating the older patients with acute myeloid leukemia because even though you can put them in remission with intensive chemotherapy, the survival prolongation is modest and the cure rate is very low. And at that point in time, we did not have effective stem cell transplant strategies. This has changed completely today. Uh, even among the patients who cannot receive intensive chemotherapy, we can give them epigenetic therapy with azacitidine or decitabine. As I mentioned, we can combine this with monoclonal antibodies, with venetoclax, with checkpoint inhibitors. And I think those strategies are going to open a new area of, uh, a new era of research in elderly AML where low intensity therapy together with targeted therapies and immune oncology strategies are going to be able to cure older patients with AML at a much higher rate with very little side effects to the patient.